Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to take a simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal and here we will learn some basic tools of sheet metal like how to use lower tool, how to use design library and create this kinds of forming to tools, uh, use forming tools and you will see some, you will use some sheet metal tools also here and at the end we will export this file in 2d format i hope you like it so let's now here we are going to take a simple exercise in solidworks sheet metal so let's open file new and let me choose here part okay and now we entered in solidworks interface now background i'll keep plain white you need just click here and you will find millimeter inches whatever you like to keep we will try millimeters okay now if you don't find sheet metal tab here just right click and you will see sheet metal okay base flange it will ask you which plane you like to use for the sketch so let's try front plane in sketch here i will try rectangle center rectangle okay now dimension press 150 press tab key on keyboard and the other side 120 enter right click select or simply press escape key and you will out of the sketch dimension now see now simply select exit sketch now here it will ask you what thickness you like to keep and you will see reverse direction so better to keep outside bending allowance k factor i'll keep 0.5 it is standard so we will not going to change anything here okay now next command we will see age flange we want to make some flanges here so i'll choose one flange and see if i drag my mouse here and there it will moves according to our mark mouse so i'll select this click now see it is created if i'll choose now here this is use default radius if you want to change you can change it but we will keep as it is it is not the big deal angle 90 degree if you want to change the angle you have to simply select here blind and condition let's say 70 millimeter here dimension from outer virtual sharp okay and the material bending out see you will see it's going to bend outside okay now we will apply some more edges like one second edge third edge and the last one is bottom edge now here also we need to see there is a gap between if you see here gap distance if you want to increase it's up to you but two millimeter is too much so one millimeter is more than enough because for welding we need little gap now let's try we will add some more flanges click and go downward direction okay now if i choose this one other side see it will automatically took the shape third edge and the last one look everything is same gap we will keep one millimeter angle 90 degree and blind end condition end condition we will say 15 millimeter bending material outside the last flange let's say this one take outside 
and let me choose all four edges. Gap I will keep 1 millimeter angle 90 degree, come down blind end condition 10 millimeter and rest is same like material outside distance from outer side. Okay. Now let us try to add some more thing here. So just click design library. If you open design library, you will find too many things are here, especially forming tools. If you open forming tools, you will find one option lure. This is standard lure added in your geometry. Simply drag and click here. See the lure is moving inside and angle also not in correct position. So first flip. Now you see this is comes outside. Now angle 90, it is moving up upside but we want to keep downside. Okay, let us keep up. Actually, it is supposed to be 270 degree. See, Dim position, A smart dimension. Let us try distance from here to here. Fifteen millimeter. Now here from outer edge, it's thirty-seven millimeter because overall length is <coughs> now it is in the center of the wall. So simply say okay. See the lure is created. Now if you want to make more number of lures, simply go to feature linear pattern. See here, you have to choose any vertical, this is the vertical length, distance, okay, before choosing distance feature, feature you can directly choose this one or drop down the menu, see, distance, 12. Four number of lures. That's it. Okay, that's finished. Now let's add some vent. We will use venturi command and click sketch. Let me add some dimensions here. Forty enter. Ten enter, and this third one is 25 enter line and let me connect line from here to this point press escape key to out again press, press L key on keyboard and you will get the command escape smart dimension distance from outer edge 45 millimeter distance from outer edge 37 millimeter because this is the center of the body. Now see drawings are fully defined now. Let us try to search Venturi command. Go to insert here you will find one option feature sorry fastening feature here you will find one option vent Venturi tool. Now first you have to choose boundary. So I will select outer circle. Now see the whole body is deleted. Now face already selected. We do not need to put any dimensions or anything. I will show you. Now area is already calculated ribs. So I will choose 1, 2. This 2 ribs we selected. Here 2 millimeter we will keep thickness. Now come down a spur, this one 2 millimeter, okay. 
now the fill in boundary if you i'll choose this inside circle see it will fill whole things now see 2 mm by default it's selected if we choose here radius or something like 0.5 See all the edges become have radius 0.5. Now see, let me hide this. Click, hide geometry. Now see. Now let's see some more tools. Just reverse it. Take this. Okay. Go to design library emboss tool. Here we have predefined or edit tools so counter sync emboss i'll drag and put here now it is inside okay position because we don't need to uh, put any more dimensions from here to twenty millimeter and distance from here to 20 millimeter now the sheet distance is 120 by 150 millimeter say okay and we will use linear pattern and create multiple to first x direction i'll choose one this arrow reverse feature I'll select this one. We need two numbers. 80. 80 is the distance. 120 minus 20, 20, 40. So it's become 80 millimeter. Now come direction 2. Direction 2, select any vertical length. See, this one we selected. It's moving downward direction. That's fine. Now here gap. It's 150 minus 40, it's 110 millimeter. Okay, and here number of patterns increase. See, say okay. See, pattern is added. Now, if you want to add some more things like uh, any kind of geometry, here one option sheet metal. You will see multiple number of patterns are here. Any patterns you can simply drag and drop here and put at the center. Now here you will get some option for customization. Now here see override dimensions. Let us say 14. Okay, this one is keep as it is this is also radius let's say this one 5 this one also radius this one let's say 20 now see this is a kind of keyhole so this is the simple tutorial how to use design library and we created multiple number of uh, feature tools like Lua, then let me drive directly edit appearance from here. Zero, this one 200. 255 that's it now if you go to sheet metal and you will select flatten if you choose flatten it will gives you flat pattern now see these th tools uh, geometry you are going to create with the help of embossing tools or press tools in any machines now if you want to make 2d file just right click and uh, select here export to dxf DXF means it's going to add in 2D sheet metal exercise. Save sheet metal. Okay. 
now this is the dxf file or 2d file you can simply save as 2d file in your this system and you can use it as a autocad file for this simply click save and it will save in your destination so this is the simple tutorial how to create a simple box simple exercise in solid work sheet metal i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching